Hello everybody, this is Kevin with Inspiring How You See That. We're the inspirational channel that goes behind the scenes, interviews some of your favorite artists, entertainers, and much more. Again, this is a Double Up Tech Tuesday. Today we're going to be talking about the Creality CR6 Max Printer, 3D printer. Today, as you see in the background, we're going to be talking about some of the temperature settings for not only your bed plate, but your filament uh, settings. So we've had some questions with the filament. So there's a lot of uh, variations. It's kind of like cooking. Um, you got to have your temperatures right and you don't want to either have it over overheating the element or you want, don't want to also have it under because then you'll get a lot of burrs, a lot of issues on whatever you may be printing. And we'll talk about that in other segments about the burring up of, you know, plastic uh, printed items and the filament. So depending upon what kind of filament you're using, I have a couple uh, filaments here that I'm going to show you. Um, the first one is a PLA plus filament. This is just a red uh, filament and it's a simple filament. It's PLA plus uh, 3D printing red. Um, and it actually, we usually print this around 200 uh, nozzle temp and it prints very well. Now the big key point that you'll find is the printing speed. Now the quicker you print your item, the sloppier it'll get, um, but it'll get done quicker. So printing speed is another big variation. We always set ours about 80. As you see here on this uh, setting, you'll see there's a, this one is set at 100. So that means it's gonna go a lot quicker. 80 is gonna go a lot slower. Uh, nozzle temp for what we have here is 200. Bed temp, bed temp, again, we had talked about the plate and using painter's tape on that bottom. Most of the time we set ours at 65. You know, there's some things where they say 85 or sometimes even higher or lower, but we have found that 65 is the best. So we found that the best setting um, for the PLA Plus is the settings that we are kind of covering now. It should be 80, maybe 200, uh, 65. Now, if you have a, you know, a larger item, uh, item that you're making and maybe you want to go up a little bit more higher in a nozzle temp you can go about 215 so again the quicker the speed the lower the temps the more you're going to have those issues in your filament so this was the red one that we talked about now we're going to talk about some of these special uh, filaments that you can get now we have a, a chrome this is a chrome filament that we have printed with and then we also have like a, a rainbow uh, filament, which is almost like a chrome material too as well. We have found that this filament is very finicky. And what I mean by finicky is it leaves a lot of burrs and a lot of issues because of the, um, the chroming in the agents that are made to make this filament. It, it, it's a different texturing, so it's going to burr a little bit. So maybe warmer temps will cure that problem, depending upon how big your items print, you know, that you're printing or how small or how intricate the little, you know, maybe it's it's got joints in it, you know, and they're real small, real fine. You're probably gonna wanna turn up your bed temperature um, for, for the adhesion of the bed to the 65, like we had said, that'll work great. Now the nozzle temp, we found between 215 to 225 is the best. Again, the printer speed, is about 80 now you can set this down a little bit lower maybe 70 and it'll go you know it will actually help you to alleviate from some of those burrs so we kind of wanted to cover in this segment is a little bit about the filaments and some of the things that we have um, incurred with some of the issues with the filaments and some of the ones that we recommend you know again like subscribe put in the comments maybe there's some other filaments that you guys like to use out there better or you had some issues with the filament or you know the feeding of the filament we have segments coming out in that so there's going to be a lot of different uh you know double up tech tuesdays with the 3d printer and maybe some other uh things out there that you guys have sent us in regards to some questions so again we hope you like this segment and we'll see you on the next one